Hey everybody, my name is Morgan and welcome to my first official YouTube video. I'm super excited about this journey and you all have been so, so supportive and so, so amazing that I figured I owed you a video. So here we are. I'm just going to do a basic video right now um, and I'm going to go over a couple things that I like to use. Um, some of y'all that already know me know my drill, know my things that I like. So first off, um, anytime I'm glittering a tumbler, I do like to use these aluminum trays. Um, they're really, really kind of flimsy, but it's just to catch all my glitter that falls in here. And I use it for my dump bucket. So this is just a mixture of all the glitters over the years that have fallen into this bucket. But I don't want all my glitter falling in here because I don't want them getting mixed together. So, um... I do use these sheets. They're pre-cut wax sheets. And for every color that I'm gonna do, I'll put a new sheet. If I have a color that, or a cup that has multiple colors, I'll put a new sheet for every color and then I'll, I'll um, gather the glitter individually and dump them back into my shakers that I have. So these are just cabinet wax sheets from Dis Dixie. I've, I reuse and reuse and reuse these. They, uh, the glitter just falls off really easily. Um, I did buy these from Sam's. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do use, use one color here. So anything that falls outside of this little paper will be part of my dump bucket. And, um, all I've done right for right now is I have prepped and gotten ready a 30 ounce skinny from Maker Flow. I will go ahead and drop my Maker Flow link below in the comments, but um, this is a pre-sanded Maker Flow. So I don't know if you can really see, but you can kind of see the little lines from the sanding. And all I have done so far is I cleaned it and I spray painted it white. I did use a flat white. I typically do use the two times Rust-Oleum paints. Um, they work really good. I do use gloss. Um, some people will tell you, no, you need to use matte because epoxy sticks to matte better. I've been using the Rust-Oleum 2 times gloss in all colors for the last three years, and I've never had an issue. So um, right now, all I have is a 30-ounce skinny. Some people like to put um, footballs in their PVC pipes in here. That way, they can transfer it to a drying rack really easily afterwards. Um... It, it's just your preference and what you want to do. So today I'm going to be using the Ultra Clear Facet from Counterculture DIY. I absolutely have fallen in love with this. This is the Ultra Clear. I'll do a whole video. I promise, I promise, I promise. I will do a whole video on just epoxy, what I use, what I, when do I use them, and whatnot. So for right now, I'm just going to mix um, 2.5 milliliters of part A and 2.5 milliliters of part B to equal a measurement of five total mLs. You want to measure your epoxy by volume and not by weight because the densities are different. One's a little bit thicker and heavier, one's a little bit lighter and thinner. So I always put my part B first and then my part A. Um, it's just my personal preference. It is not mandatory to do it this way. Okay, so now it is exactly five milliliters and I'm gonna take my stainless steel stick, you guys. Most of the stuff that I do not buy from vendors and I will mention the vendors when I talk about them, but most of the stuff that I don't buy from vendors, I do buy from my Amazon buys list. I have a buys list and I will link it down in the comments, but I have a Amazon buys list. I know I love Amazon and I'm sure you guys love Amazon also. So it has been a lifesaver since COVID hit. These medicine cups and these stainless steel sticks are both on. I do not like using wood. Wood creates bubbles. So if you're having a problem with bubbles, try switching to the stainless steel stir sticks. I do know that a lot of people do use this round ball size because it mixes a little bit better with less bubbles. I like to use the paddle portion because I really like to scrape the sides and get everything really incorporated. And um, you got to mix your part A and part B evenly and very thorough. So let's get mixing. So when I mix, I make sure that I'm mixing 
the sides. So I'm scraping the sides to pull everything off the sides and then make sure that you're getting the bottom really, really, really well. Another reason I like these medicine cups is because when the epoxy cures in here, they're really easy. To, like if you just roll it in your, whoa, oops. But if you just roll it in your hands like this after the epoxy has cured, the epoxy is going to pop right out and then you can reuse them. I know they're like 32 cents a piece if you really want to break it down, which I have. Um, so they're only like 32 cents a piece and they're super, they're super, super cheap, but I like to pinch pennies when I can and where I can. I use so many of these. It is so nice to be able to just pop it out and reuse when I need to. So we're just going to mix, 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 mix. It is recommended to mix a heck of a lot small, slower than I am right now, but for the technique that I'm going to be showing you, I did not think that saving the bubbles would be necessary. So here we go. We're just mixing, 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 scraping the bottom really, really good and just keep on mixing. If you're mixing it a lot slower, what you're going to see is you're going to see um, little cloudiness and some little stringiness. That's the best way I can describe it. Again, I will do a whole video on just mixing epoxy and epoxy just so that you guys can see, but I think it's ready. So another thing that's awesome about these stainless steel sticks is you just have to wipe them and you can reuse them over and over and over and over again. If for some reason, I've done it. If for some reason you leave it and the epoxy cures on it, all you have to do is soak these in acetone and it will come right off super easy. So I have those ready to be soaked. Um, next up, I'm going to take my tumbler and let's go ahead and put my little football. I like to label mine with some painter's tape on the inside so I know which tumbler is for what and what I'm working on. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this football and put it inside my tumbler. Um, right now, it doesn't matter if it's center or not because I'm not going to be turning it on my turner. I'm actually gonna be putting it on my drying rack when I'm done. So I just like to make sure that it's all the way in. Right. Next up, I'm going to pour, I know, 2.5 milliliters. Does that even sound like it is even enough? No, it doesn't, but I promise you, and I totally, you'll see here in a little bit, you will see that it is more than enough and I'll actually have a little bit left over. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my epoxy to the butt of my tumbler. And then there's still some in here. So if you need more, you can definitely reach for it. So at this point, all you're going to do is you're going to take your epoxy and you're going to push it down and around your tumbler using a good amount of pressure. Remember, you're going to want to take all this epoxy and apply it to the whole tumbler. And I promise you, you'll have enough. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop into my cup and apply it. I am not wearing gloves, guys. It is recommended for you to wear gloves. I like to feel, um, I like to feel my cup and my epoxy. So, um, I, and I do not, blah, 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 blah. I do not receive a reaction from epoxy and this is probably not safe for me to do so. So please, 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 when you are starting your epoxy journey, please look into it, read all about it, um, and do what you need to do for you. Be safe. At this point, since I can't really move it much anymore, I'm going to take my heat gun, which I don't have an official heat gun. I have an embossing gun. Um, I purchased this embossing gun from Hobby Lobby. It is from the paper studio and it was 50% off. So I got it on sale on one of their paper studio sales. So now I'm gonna take my heat gun and I'm gonna heat up the epoxy that's on the cup.
Okay guys, so what the heat is gonna do, it's gonna do a couple things. It's going to make the epoxy really, really thin so that you can move it a little bit better on your tumbler. And it's also going to pop any bubbles that you may have created while you were mixing it. So you're taking care of two birds with one stone. We're just gonna go ahead and keep wiping our finger down and hopefully it's a gloved finger, you guys. I want you guys to be safe. I really want you guys to be safe and make good choices. Just because I don't doesn't mean that it's important. And see all that extra epoxy that's on my finger? I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off into my cup because I don't need an excess amount of epoxy. I just need a very, very thin amount just to cover my tumbler and get enough on there to where the glitter is going to stick. So I can feel that it's a little bit bare right here. So I'm just going to rub it in really good. Okay, now that that is all on, I'm gonna take a paper towel again and wipe my hand off and I will show you what I do because everyone's always amazed. But I literally just wrap my finger in the paper towel and I just wipe it off and it comes off super easy. I, I go over my little fingernail and it's gone. My fingers are not sticky and I'm good to go. Okay, now at this point, you guys, depending on what method you're going to be doing, if you're going to be doing an ombre or you're going to be just doing an all glitter cup, there are different techniques to do this, but to keep it simple, stupid for y'all, I'm just going to apply my glitter and I'm only, I'm only applying one color on this cup. I will definitely show you how I do my ombres on another video, so please stay tuned. I typically do use shakers um, for my glitter, but this one I didn't have a shaker for, so I'm just using a little Dixie cup. And we're going to get the butt first, so I like to just turn the cup while I'm applying glitter to the butt. And then you wanna make sure you get the rim good too. So I'm gonna keep it at an angle so that I can make sure I'm getting every little part of that rim. And then once I have done that, I can just apply the glitter up my cup. Now, if you run out of glitter and you still have a little spot, this is what I love about epoxy method. The epoxy is not gonna dry super, super quick. Now, if you were using and doing the Mod Podge method, you might not have time to do this. So now I'm just gathering up my glitter, pouring it back into my cup, and I can finish applying my glitter to my cup. Now, if I was using a shaker, I would nef definitely not have used so much glitter to apply in the first place because the shaker kind of controls it. Um, but because I am using a cup and it's free for all out of the cup, um, it kind of just pours a little bit more than usual. So at this point, I'm just going to tap my tumbler and take off any excess and then at the at the bottom, since this is a little bit of a chunky, it has like a little bit of a medium chunky to it, I'm just going to tap the rim and kind of tap that glitter that's hanging off the edge into the epoxy that I already have going on. Now, if you do have a chunky glitter, at this point is where you would want to, um, what I like to do is just use my hands and I will tap the glitter down with my little fingers, just ever so lightly, just barely tapping it up and down the cup. And that's just gonna help your chunky lay down a little bit flatter. If you're using a fine glitter, you don't need to do this. And then again, one little tip, if you were using a chunky glitter, make sure that you tap around the rim because the rims are the hardest to, oh, I had a little fuzz in there. 
The rims are the hardest to get smooth if you're using chunky glitter. So just tap, tap, tap around that rim of yours. Now you guys, all I have to do is set this aside and put it on my drying rack. And um, in two hours, it'll be ready to apply my quick coat and my epoxy. So. Okay, everyone, that is all for now. Remember to stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy, and remember to smile at someone because you never know. You might be saving their life. Bye!